Start recording. I stopped recording because there was a break, so we got we got this part of the VOD. Whew. Nothing important was missed. A whale <laughs> off of the East Coast shore. Yes, is celebrating New Year's right now. It's like, no, I have no concepts of time. Just seasons. All you have is bourbon. That's fine. That works. To be mul multiple Happy New Year's this year. Yeah, same. Right? Because, like, time zones. I thought that was the coolest thing four years ago when I did my first 24-hour New Year's stream. I'm like, <clears throat> let's celebrate the ball dropping in every time zone. But, anyways. Mmm. I think, I think before we do any art, I want to smoke some more weed, <laughs> because I can. And let's reflect on like highlights of the year, right? That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Childproof. How is it almost 5 a.m. already? Because you live in the future. I just finished explaining this to you. If you just lived over here in Canada, you wouldn't have that problem. All right. So. Yes, now we're technically, like, what are we, just chatting? Oh my gosh. Okay, here come the yawns. Oh no. Engaging <gasps> show. Did not know you did all those competitions and that Berlin slash Twitch thing. Thank you. Yes, a lot of stuff happened before, you know. <laughs> COVID hit and then uh, now everybody's stuck inside and that's awful. You have no ice, so you have hot whiskey. Ooh. Well, enjoy. Um, this is kind of a vibe. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Thank you so much for that 10 bucks though. Really appreciate it. Uh yeah, a lot of stuff a lot of stuff has happened. It still feels like last week, right? I'm not the only one. For me it feels like last week too. So many people that I met and where are they now? Who knows? Everybody's off in their own homes. My brain is trying to go to sleep right now. It's like, hey, it's 11 p.m. Like, you've been streaming for eight and a half hours. No brain. It's time for round two. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta like, get my boogie on. Okay, wake up. Uh, uh, uh. Have a new use, have a new use from Halifax. Halifax is having no years to you. Yo, <laughs> it's past your bedtime. Aw. That's okay. Well. Yeah, that was so cool. You had like a whole little tour that you did. Um. Drink some water. Maybe water will wake me up. I don't want to drink Red Bull because I don't want to be up forever. Because <laughs> we haven't reached our goal for staying on for 16 hours, but.
but we are gonna rave a little bit. So, I think we should reflect on our year. Happy New Year from Halifax. Let's go. R2 D2. Blue eyed Sampa. Mmm. Right. Yeah. That was a big burp. Halifax. So Halifax is an hour ahead of us? Huh. I guess that checks out. They're like way out there. Here come the burps. body down so I don't burp so much all right so new years new highlights I have a whole journal and the last journal that I did where is it my brain is freaking farting on me right now Yeah, I know, right? Breathing is so helpful. tapping out <laughs> right now but there's a page in this book somewhere where we looked at New Year's resolutions is this one really no it's the other one This is uh, called Party Rockin' Sparky Remix by the Funk Hunters. Funk Hunters are actually, they stream on Twitch. It's pretty dope. Okay. Okay, give me a minute to collect my thoughts. Give me a minute to collect my thoughts. What did I do?
Thank you. Sorry, I forgot I was muted. My bad. My bad. Thank you. Okay, so anyways. This was the spread from last year's New Year's stream. Er. I guess the year before last year at this point. <laughs> Poen, thank you for the four month free sub. Happy New Year's. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't think I did one last year. And so I want to do one this year because this, this is really cute to look back on, you know? I love looking back. I have so many journals upon journals upon journals because, you know, memories fade, but journals stay forever, right? So let's, let's write something down and I encourage you to do the same, you know, you did stuff this year too and you're going to forget about it when you're 50 years old. You're going to look back and you're going to be like, oh, this is what I did this year, you know? We only lived X amount of years and we spent two of them trying to avoid a virus, right? So, okay, so the 2019 highlights say... I met my mods. I grew my own weed. <laughs> Mr. MV raided me for the first time. Uh, the llama. Llama. Llama gifted a crap ton of subs. Pride week and the Trevor Project. Stream takeover. Right with the elbow thing. Buying a cello. Self confidence unlocked. Recorded first full length album. Wrote new songs, winning Twitch things, Dream Star season two. No more student debt. Raj Patel. First cooking stream. Bike rides. Hanging out with Twitch fam. Not having a job. Being my own boss. And then it has a thing where it's like traveled. I traveled to Los Angeles three times. I traveled to London, I traveled to San Diego, Minnesota, Berlin, and Montreal three times, and Toronto. And then all the music videos that came out. Like 2019 was a real year, damn dude. And then the lowlights, of course, were breaking my stupid ass elbow and losing Twitch Sing season one. I came second place, but whatever and my Crohn's disease being a bitch and my spinal condition and Nebs being sick oh my gosh yeah Nebs was really sick that was hard yeah so like that's just like the highlights and lowlights of my year and but just by writing them down I'm like oh my gosh yeah remember I did all these things you know so I want to do that. That was the year I grew weed. I can't believe I grew my own weed. So the highlights are happy memories, things that I'm proud of, and exciting events. And the lowlights are difficult challenges that I faced and overcame. Because that's the thing. You've overcame everything if you're here right now. So much travel, yeah. That, this is not gonna be the same at all. At all, at all. I guess I'm ready to go. Damn. I guess I'm ready to go. Oh my gosh, I thought that was my ringtone for a second. Well, what were some of your guys' highlights? What was some of your highlights of your year? Oh, this music slaps so hard, it makes me want to dance. We're not dancing just yet. Yo, Blue Eyes is so fucking. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the 12 months. I should probably make a pretty page. Um, I'm kind of wanting. Okay. You know what? I want to set up my camera so it's on the desk, like we have it with the art setup. Hmm. 
I'm gonna do this. How to grow on flowers from that? It worked out well. I sold them. I sold it and made like a couple hundred bucks. It was great. Except for that somebody came in my backyard and like snipped the top bud off of my weed. And that made me not so happy that someone would steal my plant baby. So I'm like, I'm gonna move my camera. It's gonna be tricky. Last year, I think I did it with a webcam or something. Anyways, I'm just gonna doodle. Let's go. Happy New Year. It's 2022 now, so. And the art of it being still COVID. Happy New Year. 20, 22. It's so weird. The numbers just keep going. They don't stop. They don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. <sighs> Fuck. What did I even do this year? Like, I don't even know. Guys, help. Well, I definitely, so highlights. Okay, wait. Highlights and lowlights. need a green. Ugh. Where's my green? I don't have a green. Okay. Well, let me make highlights blue. Good old 2019. It'll be six weeks tops. We'll be over this. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to call him for the drawers open. Okay. So. The highlights. Are obviously Hallocene. Mm. I'm just going to make it plain and simple. Because 2019 was a big fucking year. But we're living in COVID here, so... But we can find stuff. There's probably some good shit that happened this year. All right, so. Yeah, there's a lot of good shit. Okay. Does the flower smell taste nice? Oh, you mean my my weed that I grew? <laughs> they, they did. They smelled and tasted and smoked really well. They were great. Maybe I should turn this light off. Okay. I guess I don't really need that. Okay, highlights were... Thank you! What inspired them is that I'm a full-time musician, so... It was my commitment to myself, honestly. Like, I was like, if I'm gonna do music full-time, this is it. Like, I'm never getting a job. Nobody's gonna hire me with these fucking bad boys. Because I have hand tats. And hand tats are like a do not hire thing. And so I had been making my, my living off of music and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna do it because my hands are like everything to me. If I lose these, I lose everything. Because I play so many instruments, right? So there's the inspiration for that. I did so many bar shows this year. Yeah, okay. So highlights, 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 highlights. Obviously, a big one is the Hallocene collab. Hallocene! Hallocene collab! Finally, in brackets. <laughs> Dandelion on salads. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've had that too, but I know what you mean. Oh, you don't gotta hide it. It's legal here. So, the Austin show. Oh my god, yes. Because that it's funny because that was 
On the twenty on the twenty twenty one it says Raj Patel, right? Because that was his old tag, but he he did a glow up and now he's awesome show. Got and this time I didn't audition. They recruited me. They specifically asked for me to be on the show, right? Got on Austin show. They recruited me. I did lose to a pair of, uh, or a triplet of dancing mom babes, but you found my channel just after the accident when we didn't think you'd play again? I know, right? I've came so far. And not only have I like healed back to what I was, but I'm so much more than I would have been if I never was broken, you know? Isn't it funny how that works? Oh, I got my first raid Shadow Legends sponsor. I feel like I've run out of colored pens though. I used to have so many colored pens. Now I've got like three. First official stream sponsor. First sponsored stream. Raid Shadow Legends. Mental strength, a challenge makes you, makes you stronger. <laughs> I like the typo though. Typos are fun sometimes. All right, so first sponsor stream. We did the housing collab. I got on the Austin show. I bought a fucking car. That's like a huge one. I want more colors, but I don't have them. Here we go. Here's a pink marker. Bought. Bought a car. Oh, and my partner moved in. That's a big one. Candy moved in. We started dating when my elbow broke. So it's kind of like all coming full circle in a way. Andy moved in. What else? Oh, well, got my driver's license. Which was something that has been on my list of goals for forever. That was this year. That was the beginning of the year. Yeah. Yeah, it's been amazing. It's it's improved my mental health so much. I'm like, oh, you know? Speaking of mental health, I got diagnosed with ADHD this year. At 27 years old. The whole time. ADHD. Severe ADHD diagnosis. And it has been a life changer. It's been a life changer. <laughs> and like looking back, like, okay, I was looking at my goals and it was like, goals for next year. Okay, it wasn't even this one. It was the one before, it was the year even before this. And my goals were focus and concentration, finding a routine and waking up happy. And like, look me in the face and tell me those aren't three things that I could never have achieved because I had such poorly managed ADHD. <laughs> oh no, it was a, it was an actual doctor. No, I went through an actual assessment. They did a questionnaire. I had to do a bunch of like, a, like a phone interview and all that stuff and like family assay, etc., etc. Like it's an actual psychiatrist who I see on a bi-monthly basis. Like every other month we, we talk and stuff. And yeah, I think self-diagnosing is not ideal, but in a world where mental health is so poorly like managed, there's not enough support systems out there for it that sometimes you need to self-assess in order to get to where you need to be. Yeah, it's tricky, it's tricky. But my mental health has improved so much this year. Yeah, and it's made other people happy to see me happy, and I love that. And it's that's exactly it. It was just the missing piece was that I've been misdiagnosed my whole life with depression and anxiety, when the reality is that the depression and anxiety were resulting of the ADHD the whole fucking time. I wasn't depressed 
I was just depressed because I couldn't fucking get things done because my brain has a literal, like, fucking disorder. <laughs> Called attention deficit disorder. It's, it's, it's so, it makes so much sense now. You know? So, that was like a, that was a breakthrough for me. Is just getting on by vans and being like, holy shit, I actually have motivation to do things. I'm actually, I can actually focus and there's no voices constantly buzzing in my head. Like, that was the thing. They, they thought the, the, the noise in my head was anxiety. And like, obviously, yeah, you're gonna be depressed if you're- I'm not- I'm not accomplishing anything. Oh, that's depression. No, it's cause I can't fucking motivate myself to do stuff. Like, yes, that's a symptom of depression, but it's- it's crazy how much overlap there is in- in mental health. That, like, so many things can be overlooked. Is there a cause for ADHD? Um, I- it's funny because I spend so much of my time because I studied neuroscience and psychology and all sorts of chemistry and stuff in, in, in university. And I spent so much of my time looking at like things like PTSD and depression and P uh, like that, how that affects the brain. Because that's what I was diagnosed with and I wanted to understand it better. I never actually got into too many studies about ADHD. So I actually can't tell you um, neuro, like neuro, on a neuromolecular level what ADHD is. But I do know that it is partly genetic and partly environment, as all things are, nature and nurture. Um, <laughs> sides of a bell curve, I don't know, but... Yeah, no, that's, that's, I mean, ADHD is very complex and, and I'm still learning about it. Um, honestly, I have to do more research on it before I can start, you know, talking about it to other people and explaining it. I can explain the symptoms perfectly. I can explain mannerisms and, and cute little things that happen with it. I don't understand the neurochemical basis for it, but I think it, it just has to do with your dopaminergic systems. Um, and dopamine is the molecule that's like a pleasure molecule that you get when you accomplish something. So you're like, oh my gosh, I just graduated high school. I feel so accomplished. Like that, that's a, that feeling of bleh. And my body just couldn't do that. So I don't get motivated to do anything because it, there's nothing in it for me, right? So... So I had a hard time and I can't focus on anything. I can't- I couldn't focus. My thoughts are constantly going and going and going like a fucking gerbil- hamster in a gerbil fucking in a wheel there. And it's like sounds and trains and blue 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 blue. Like, constantly. My brain is so creative to a fault that I couldn't actually hear what people are saying because there's so much going on up here that I couldn't focus. So, yeah, like I can I can talk about my symptoms for days, but I can't I don't know why it is. It's just how my brain is, you know. So, here we are. But yeah, they th they thought they they thought it was like, "Oh, you're schizophrenic." Cuz I kept talking about like how there's so many things in my head. It's like, "No, it's just like my thoughts are very fucking loud and very powerful and very, like, they can overload what's actually happening, you know? So, but with the meds, it's just like, shoot, thoughts go, shh, and I can just exist and do things. It is the reason, no, but that's it. If you look at me, like, it's, it's so stupid. They're like, you can't have ADHD. You were a child prodigy. I'm like, that. And I'm seeing all of this, like, self, like, what's word? When it confirms confirmation, there's a lot of com things confirming it. Because, like, there's a lot of people who are like, yeah, like, ADHD in women. Not that I'm, like, I was, I'm assigned female at birth, but I am gender fluid. I'm presenting very female today. But ADHD in women is so much misdiagnosed and undiagnosed because they're like, oh, you're, you're getting good grades, whatever. Yeah, that's how it usually presents in women is they're overachievers. They're too smart. They're fucking, they kill it. <laughs> they're just really good at everything because they, they just have to mask and you have to hide your symptoms. And, you know, you seem like a daydreamer, you seem too chatty or whatever. That's just normal, whatever. But... Yeah, no, I just, I was good at everything I did and I was never satisfied. That was the thing. I was never satisfied. I always felt like there was something more that I needed. And I just got bored so easily and I moved from thing to thing and, 
like math was so easy that I finished my, I, like literally they forced me to skip a grade and a half because I was in grade seven and I finished all my homework. Like it, I switched schools a lot too, because I moved around. It was parents divorced, back and forth, blah, 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 foster care, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, we're confused. Like you're acting out in class, but it's because you're bored and like you're, but you have straight A's, like what's going on? And I'm just like, this is stupid. And I would finish the homework. It would take other other students like 30 minutes and I'd have it done in like five, 10 minutes. I'd be done. And then I'd be doodling in my notebook. And so yeah, they put me in, <laughs> they put me in the special class. And I'm like, looking back, I'm like, why didn't no, nobody, nobody said ADHD. They were like, oh, gifted. They're gifted. <laughs> so, anyways. So yeah, so I, I was like Hermione Granger. I was taking like grade 10 and 11 classes at the same time. I would go to half of one class and then go to half of the other and I would do both of the homeworks. And then I would just go to the music class on my lunch break. And, um... <laughs> I, I graduated with too many credits. I got too many credits in high school. I had like 32 and you need 30 to graduate anyways. So that's my origin story. But the fact that I never in all of those years being the gifted kid, being the one who, oh wow, they play 40 instruments. Oh wow, they're really good at science and math and this and that. It's like nobody ever thought that it was ADHD. You do have it since you were a kid. Yeah, I did. I did. And it's it, honestly, it's more severe as an adult for me because I have no structure. Because when you're a kid, you have teachers, you have like, uh, you know, you have to wake up, you have to catch the school bus and get to school and you go to school and then they, they force these, uh, you know, structure on you. And then when I went to university, it was a whole different ball game because I lived on my own. No structure, no parents to tell me what to do. And everything fell apart. I'm like, why am I getting C's? And I would sit in, a, in an exam room surrounded by people and my anxiety would go crazy. My brain would fucking shit. It would shit a brick and I lost everything. I could, I could learn anything in the world and I would understand it perfectly. But when it came time to exams, I shit the bed. I shit you not, I literally turned in a blank exam, my first chemistry exam, because I could not do it. I My brain was not working, and I started crying. It was so awful. It was the worst experience ever. But my teacher came up to me after, like, you're getting A pluses on all of your assignments that you take home. Why did you turn in a blank exam? Like, what's wrong? And I was just like, I can't do it when I'm pressured like that. So... I finally got special accommodations and my doctor wrote me a note because I have anxiety that and, and, and trouble focusing. She didn't write that I had ADHD, she just said I have very tr a lot of trouble focusing and I have anxiety. But like she refused to test me for ADHD. She didn't think that was possible because she also treated my mom. And the funny thing is, my mom has a lot of the same symptoms that I do. And I love her to bits. She's, she's a little ADHD. <laughs> you know so anyways years later 27 years old finally got the diagnosis I feel like I'm finally starting my life on the right track and finally living it, it it's 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 crazy it's broken down barriers for me it's like this is what other people's brains are like like holy shit it's, a, it's definitely a trip such a trip and so so yeah, so this was the year that I I realized what life could be. <laughs> my <laughs> I haven't felt depressed. I haven't had urges to self-harm. I haven't had urges to, you know, end my life. Like, I just feel like I can do anything. There's nothing stopping me. Because, yeah, yeah, okay, we're getting emotional again. I get emotional every time I talk about it. Like, imagine if you, <laughs> yeah. the whole, my whole life, just, 
I was thinking something was wrong with me. And couldn't figure out what it was. And kept getting thrown at pills, pills, pills. This will fix you, this will fix you. Nothing ever did. And here I am. I'm fucking happy. I wake up happy. I still don't have a schedule or routine. I'm working on it. But I wake up happy. I'm happy to be me and, and in this life and in this body and I, my brain fucking can function. Even if I have to take a stupid pill to make it work. It just, it works. It's fine. Huh. It is a lot. It is a lot. Being denied, like, and then this is something that a lot of people experience with regular healthcare too. Like, fucking doctors denying people pain. Like, going to a doctor being like, I'm in pain and they're like, just take a Tylenol. And you're like, no, I'm actually in fucking pain. That happens so often. Like, especially, like, with women being like, oh my gosh, I, I have cramps. They're like, oh, it's just period pain, whatever. And it's like, no, they actually have a cyst on their fucking ovary. And doctors miss that so much. It, it, it frustrates me to no end that so many people are misdiagnosed, misassessed, or just fucking pushed aside when they really just need help. So. So many closets and so many skeletons. Anyways. So that's a big thing for me this year. I think that's the biggest accomplishment. I feel like I can finally move on with my life now and put everything in the past and just fucking keep on trucking. Yeah. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you. Um, so, sorry. To get back on topic, Veld was saying, what was the other highlight? Weekly gigs. Yes. I had weekly gigs at Deacon Brody's. Unfortunately, those are canceled now, but it happened during 2020. I never got diagnosed with autism at all. I I don't know about the autistic part. Um, excuse me. I definitely get recommended a lot of autistic TikToks, but I don't think that's a diagnostic diagnostic uh, factor. Um, I definitely had a hard time socializing as a kid, but I think that was because I just was my family dynamic was not normal. And so I didn't really know how to interact with people. Like, I had to learn it, kind of. But I don't think I'm autistic. Don't. Not that there's anything wrong with being autistic. I love, I have lots of friends who are autistic and they're, they're great. But I don't think I am. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I don't think there's medication for autism. Like, you, it's just a way that your brain works and you just live with it. And again, the, like a lot of these aren't really disorders in a sense. They are disorders because they, they impact how you function on a daily basis and you can't live up to the standard that everybody else lives up to. Yeah, definitely need a professional diagnosis for that. But <clears throat> what was I saying? I forget what I was saying. But yeah, ADHD has like a fix. Like we figured out a cure. It's like you just need to give them stimulant medication and it gives them the dopamine the brain needs and it shuts the thoughts down and makes you able to do stuff. Like I actually get things done and it's like easy. It's not like I'm fucking trying to swim up a waterfall all the time. Like it just helps so much. So I don't know. Even if I, if I did or didn't get diagnosed with autism, it wouldn't make a difference. I'm still who I am, you know? So doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that I fucking am on meds that help my brain function so I can actually read an email and send it and fucking remember that I have a doctor's appointment and get there on time. Like those things were impossible for me. I couldn't wash dishes. Like it just felt like the ev it felt like the world was collapsing trying to wash a fucking dish, you know? Yeah. You still feel like there's something wrong. Elbow, that comes with time. It just comes with time, honestly. You know, it takes a lot of self-work, but even with all the therapy, all the meds, you know, you gotta do your own work on you. And it's like, you know, there's gonna be something wrong always, but that's within yourself and you gotta figure out, like, there's something buried under there. It's usually trauma, or it's usually not having the right people around you. Having the right people around you changes everything, dude. Like, living with my partner, he's fucking amazing. You saw him come on stream, just bring me food and apples, make sure I'm okay. He's, like, making sure my cat is taken care of while I'm streaming. He was there for me in the hospital when I broke my elbow. Like, he's there for me. He's so solid. And, like, my best friends, like, Julia and Matt and Jen, they all... Yo. 
Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to get my mask on, but I don't think I have time, so. Jump on You are very brave and to share that with us is golden. Hope you keep head up and smiling. Louis. I hope I'm saying that right. Is it Louis or Luis? Thank you. That is so freaking generous of you. Thank you for the $50. That helps so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I miss Wax Wayne. He just got a new place. I'm so happy for him. Okay, it's almost midnight. What the fuck? Where did time go? Anyways. All that being said... I'm so excited to see what 2022 has in store. Just for the simple fact that I feel like I don't have to hide anymore. I don't have to run away from my thoughts. I don't have to, you know, like I've got a therapist. I've got medication now. I've got the right diagnosis. I have a, a happy home. I've got good friends. I finally have everything that I need for success. And I'm not so stressed about numbers. I'm not as stressed about, you know, you know, trying to be this famous rock star, whatever. I'm just happy to, be. my goal is to be okay. And that was my number one goal. And as soon as I made that my number one goal, everything else fell into place, you know? You have to realize what's the most important thing to you in life. What is it? It's definitely not money. It can't be money. It can't possibly be money. So what is it important to you? And for me, it was like my mental health. I just want to feel okay. And then everything else will follow. Pretty much. I think that was one of my therapy sessions. I probably have it written down. She was like, make a pyramid and at the top, like put the most important thing to you. And then like tear it down. Like what's important to you and now rank these. What's most important? You know? So for me, like, sobriety was on there. Sobriety is very important because I know that that's when I'm my real self. And drinking and doing drugs and partying, whatever, is just going to keep putting layers on top of me. And I'm not going to be really me. I'm just going to be hiding from everything. <coughs> um, having a good relationship with my partner is important to me. Um, you know? Being able to perform music is not even the financial part of it, it's just performing music and writing music, creating music, jamming, singing. The act of singing itself is meditation for me and it makes me feel so good. And that's very important to me, you know? You wanna feel normal, but what the fuck is normal anyways, right? That's just it, like, you, you know? <laughs> you gotta make your own normal. You gotta accept all the little tiny bits and flaws that you have. Yo, what's up, Brad Sucks? Yes, joy. I found joy. Like, but, or sorry, you're saying that's what's important to you is joy. That's it. Music brings me joy. Art brings me joy. Seeing others succeed now brings me joy. It used to make me envious. It used to, I used to get angry when others succeeded. And that's such a nasty emotion. And if you feel that, you gotta fix that. You gotta look inside you and think about why you are upset that other people are having a good life. Because that's nasty. So when I got over that, it helped a lot. Because I realized everyone's on their own path. Everyone's got their own trajectory. You're gonna make it there in your own time. Don't compare yourself to others. That's like rule number one. Yeah, show all your cards. This is you. That's perfect. Feels so fucking good. Exactly. They're called Care Bears. Oh, it's called Bisonneurs? Like Bisou and Bears. That's so cute. Bisonneurs. No, they're Care Bears. Care Bears. 
Normal means you are not special and that sucks. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. I don't really think there is a normal. I think everybody's different and that's just it. You know, like, what do you define as normal? For me, for me, when I said what is normal, I'm like, oh, a person who can just like wake up and go about their day and they're happy and they go to work and they do their job and they don't have too many troubles. It's like, well, yeah, but that's boring. Like, what the fuck? I, no, I like having a troubled past. It gives me so much stuff to write about. Like, you see my art? Do you see my, the fucking Baby songs? I, oh my God, here we go. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. I gotta tell you a little something about yourself. You're one of our flawless, ooh, you a sexy lady. But you walk around here like you wanna be someone else. Uh. Too much happy now. new happy. year queen here is to a happy healthy and productive year time for me to bounce but i hope the rest of your stream goes well <laughs> thank you so much addy Volkus vipus holy crap that is such a huge donation thank you so much for that tip <sighs> oh my god thank you that is way too fucking kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my God. And Tams with the subscription, let's go. Okay, it's almost, it's almost, like it's 10 minutes to midnight, which means I gotta pop the champagne and then we gotta go to rave mode. I haven't even finished this, but now I gotta pee because I've been dancing and I drank another one of these. I'm so hydrated, chat, it's amazing. But I danced the pee out of me, so, um, Okay, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. It has been a very awesome conversation. <laughs> I'm a very dignified robot butler, right? Your normal, normal is what you make it, okay? Normal is whatever the fuck you make it, but you don't wanna be normal. You wanna be you. You wanna be the best version of you that you can be, cause you'll never be anything else but you, okay? Sounds cliche, but think on it. Think on it. What do you have that nobody else has? There's probably some stuff in there. 
<clears throat> or what do you have that makes you 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 know it doesn't have to be something nobody else has it just has to be something that makes you you anyways i gotta pee so bad i gotta pee so bad i'm not even gonna put it on a video i'm just gonna be All right, we back, we back, we back. Okay, so what? <laughs> we need to finish writing down these highlights because it's almost the end of the year. What was the lowlights of 2022? Yo, le boost misère. Merci pour l'abonnement. Bienvenue. Welcome. COVID fucking with my highlights. <laughs> yeah. Low lights is just COVID. COVID fucking up everything. Not being able to go see you more in person. Oh, you guys saw me plenty of times, though, Lee. You saw me a lot, a lot more than a, many people in this chat, I would say. What am I looking forward to in 2022? That's well, I feel like I just summarized that. But what I'm looking forward to is, <laughs> I put this the past two years, but dropping an album. Finally, gonna actually do it though. And the <laughs> just looking forward to being medicated, properly diagnosed, living with my partner in a comfy home. I have a car now. Like, I just, I'm looking forward to being comfortable in my own skin and being happy, being content with life for once in my fucking life. No, that was 2020. So 2020, we didn't even do the recap. I didn't even look at the year. I was like, fuck this year. This year sucks. Don't care. That was when I got the gastroenteritis viral infection, right when COVID started. And they thought I had COVID. And I'm like, it's probably not COVID. I'm literally just puking. It's, I can't stop puking and I can't keep food down and my gut hurts. It's probably gut related, not lung related. Anyways. Oh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely uh, doing a vinyl of it. It's gonna be limited run though. <clears throat> Cause I don't know how many people buy vinyls or CDs anymore, so. But. 
Yeah, I'm waiting for a booster shot too. But I mean it might be a while before that. Uh what else? I guess I can put discovered a lot of new streamers. Discovered new streamer pals. I found a lot of new streamers this year that I really enjoy. Yeah, I postponed going to a hospital because of COVID and then I had to call an ambulance because I was convulsing on the floor, vomiting up bile. And my blood temperature, my temperature was like 35 degrees. Like my body was in such shock that I like was like, had the lowest blood temp. Like you'd think that you would be feverish. I was the opposite. I was like in shock. Like my body went into shock, like toxic shock or something. I don't know what it was. Anyways, survive that. Yeah, that was rough. That was really rough. My guts have not been the same since. It's been really, really hard. <laughs> Yo, Shaky Wombat, herpin' near. Oh my god, it's five minutes to midnight. I gotta get the champagne ready, and then we gotta set up for rape. I didn't even get to do the art. Bro, and I, I pulled out this joint. I was gonna smoke this joint. Fuck. I'm gonna smoke this joint real quick. I don't fucking know. It's been a year, but I'm, I'm mostly looking forward to 2022. And I'm looking forward to maybe getting a routine with streaming. And it's tricky because COVID regulations keep fucking changing. So like, it it's tricky to form a schedule because I'm like, what if every Friday I'm doing my gigs? Yo, what's up, Julia? Yeah, so my Friday gigs are done now. It used to be every Friday it was like, we'll stream the live show. And it was getting, it was, I was so happy to have that. My whole life revolved around those Fridays. So it's going to be hard to adjust and make my own schedule. Because like, that was my routine. That was my routine. It was, it doesn't matter what, what day of the week, what I did, I figured it out. But then... Friday was the gig day, and then everything else revolved around that. And now I have no anchor! It just goes back to scramble days again, because fucking COVID. So fuck COVID. Bah humbug. <laughs> Happy New Year! Bon, bonne année de Canada! Bienvenue Louis et Frenchy! Bienvenue! You wish joints were legal here? Now that it stopped you, I mean, right? No, we had a whole conversation about legalized weed earlier, but. Medicinally, could not survive without this. It is cure. It literally cures my Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease joint done. It also it helps with so many gut disorders. Like one anchor is all it takes, and that's why I want to be able to be an anchor for other people, but I cannot because I am just treading water over here most of the time. So if I can figure out a way to make a schedule, yeah, if I can figure out a way to make a schedule and stick to it, that would be great. I think the medication is helping, but it's got to be on me. Like I have to be the one to force it and it's really hard because I have lots of years of bad behaviors to unlearn. <laughs> you know, I haven't had a schedule since I fucking went to university and like I was forced to go to class and even then I still didn't show up because nobody made me, so. I would kill for that now to have like a, oh, this is when you have to be there because if you miss it, you're fucked. So that's kind of why I signed up for a pottery class is like, I need something. So the pottery class is once a week on Mondays and then I have a weekly thing that I have to show up because I paid for it and I'm going to miss out and I want to look forward to it too. And then I'm going to plan my week around that. I just need that anchor. So. I'm not even sure when that starts. I think it's January 17th. It's such a vicious circle, right? I think it, yeah, January 17th is the first one. So up until then, I'm gonna do start start doing some planning, start getting into back into journaling every day again, like writing down what did I eat today, 
keeping track of these things really helps because I have no fucking short-term memory whatsoever. So. Yeah, you don't need a prescription here. It's great. Because my doctor, like, recommended it anyway. She's like, oh, if you want to smoke weed, just smoke weed. And I'm like, do I need a prescription? She's like, I don't need to write you one. I can. But you have to pay a certain amount to get it filled out or whatever. And I'm like, I just, I'm just going to smoke weed then. <laughs> 2020 vision still a blur. Tell me about it. I fucking need glasses. That's another thing. I need to get an optometrist appointment and get my eyes re-evaluated. Because I'm pretty sure my prescription is different than what it was when I was in high school. <laughs> or no, I think university was the last time I got assessed when I was 21. But... Yo, happy New Year's did. Wait, where have you been? What have you been doing? Have you been partying? Oh shit, it's midnight. Happy New Year's. It used to be such a big thing and now I'm just like, oh, it's another year. Fuck. Fuck it. It's 2022. Happy New Year's. I'm smoking a joint on my stream. Because it's fucking New Year's and COVID sucks. So I'm happy to be here with you though. Okay, we're done with this for now. I think it's time. 16 hours, 16 hours in the future. How are you 16 hours in the future? What time are you in Australia? What the fuck? <clears throat> Every other Friday. Yeah, d and helps with that too. Happy fucking New Year's. Let's open the champagne. I have a G Fuel glass just for it. You know what? I was gonna do this art. I kind of just want to dance. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to rearrange my setup too. So. <laughs> Yay! Happy New Year! Finally, the alert makes sense. For those of you who don't know, I have that alert all year round. Oh my God, Val! Let's go! Happy New Year's Merms, Purple Heart. Happy New Year! Okay, let's crack the champagne. <clears throat> oh my gosh, where did I put it? What are you watching? You're watching content being created. Top tier, like S tier content being created. That's what you're watching. Honestly. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no. I'm like, I could be like, woo, but really I'm just like, yeah, we fucking survived. You know what? We survived 2021. Another year in a pandemic. A literal pandemic chat. We are living in a fucking pandemic and we're alive. So congratulations. <sighs> it's hard to celebrate when there's so much dark shit going down in this world right now. But, you know, I think, I think it's worth a toast. So let's get this champagne. And it's, oh, it's so heavy. It's not actually champagne. It's my favorite cheap sparkling wine because it tastes better than champagne. So I'm gonna buy the cheap stuff because. Bonne nuit! Merci pour la soirée. Merci pour être ici. 
À bientôt. Bonsoir et beau rêve. Um, I don't know when my next stream will be at this point. It'll definitely not be tomorrow. Maybe the third. I also have to go get my new license plates um, installed. I got custom plates, chat. I have merms. Chippy McMonk, yo, good to see you. Yeah, I have custom plates now. So I'm literally gonna be driving around my cute little car with custom plates that say merms. And I can do that because I'm not famous. So it's not like people are gonna stalk me and find out where I live. It's pretty great. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know, it's something that I've dreamed about and now it's actually happening. Owning a car is fucking wild. Um, I'm gonna back Here's up. Here's to another night chill stream. Elbow! Thank you for being you. All the love. I love you, thank you so much for that 20 bucks. Yo, you just helped me put gas in my car. Thank you for that. Okay, I can't, my thighs are so cold. It's cold. Huh? Oh my God, it's like stuck in there. Cause it's not a cork, it's like a plastic. Ow. I gave you my body and soul, but it wasn't enough. Oh my God. If we're gonna walk down that road. <laughs> Bro. Then you know it's gonna be our last time for sure. I might need Andy in here. You can say this tastes better than real champagne. That's not true. I have had real champagne. I got hired to play a private party and they had real champagne. And it was pretty good. But like, it's, this, it's the same. Two thumbs. Like, oh, it's so cold. Oh my God, it's like putting an ice cold on my thighs. Two thumbs, like that. Not that strong. Oh, you're heading out. Bye. I literally am weak. I look so handsome. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Andy. <laughs> And he's patient. I know. <sighs> this is why I can't have nice things. I can't even open my own goddamn champagne. It's not even champagne. I'm literally breaking my thumbs doing this. Okay. Press the top sideways. Pull back. It's not budging! What the hell? What? This used to be so easy, you would just... No, I'm not drinking from the bottle. Ugh. We still, do we have that clip? Okay, yeah, we're gonna eat. Protect the gear. 
There's Please. gear everywhere. No. Just point it away. <laughs> I just know we're safe. The bathroom is safe. Yeah, I mean, the bathroom is safe ish. I can't even move. <laughs> Don't, well, don't bring oh it God. in the, that, I'm not putting my mouth on it. I did that last time I got champagne on my nose. Where's my G full cup? There it is. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're gonna need a towel. Thank you. My hero. I got an iron grip. The opener of jars. Iron grip. Thanks, I, I can take it from here. Thank you. Oh, the floor is gonna be sticky. How hard was it though? Like, not hard. It was a while. I mean, I just, 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 I Sticky floors, let's go. <laughs> oh, you just added that as a quote. Hi. Oh, and now he's in my chat. Wait, were you were you topless because you were just masturbating to my stream? Sorry, that's inappropriate. Oh, oh my god. I can't believe Gorson hasn't shown up yet. Where the hell is that man? Oh, all right. It's so sweet though, and there's not enough alcohol in it. You missed the spot, Cinderella? <laughs> I probably did, but it's okay. I'm gonna clean up tomorrow. That's a tomorrow problem. That is a 20. Oh, fuck, it is tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. Well, you know what? I don't care. Sticky floors can suck my butt. Mm. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. Only two more hours. <laughs> All right. Um, I kind of want to dance. I want to drink and I want to dance. So maybe I'll do art. If we do end up staying on for 16 hours, I'll do the art then. Does that make sense? Tomorrow doesn't start till you sleep. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I still, I still am gonna do this art though at some point. So. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of in a fuck it kind of mood. How hard was it thought? <laughs> oh no, the edit didn't work. All right. It's gonna take me a while to get drunk because this is 7%. So I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm a seasoned alcoholic. So, unfortunately... This does nothing to me. I'm Irish and native. I've got double X on the alcoholism scale. But also I'm like 100 pounds, so it kind of balances out. It's a, it's a weird balance. <clears throat> so fuck it. But I have a whole bottle of champagne and I didn't crack it till fucking New Year's and I'm only gonna be up for another three hours, so. I don't know. I don't know. Are we, what category are we in right now? Are we in just chatting? Cause I feel like this is people just chatting. First song Merms plays of 2022. That's a good question. I didn't even think about that. Here we go with the burps. My stomach actually calmed down a lot. Like I think having the bathroom breaks actually did bathroom breaks and um, Eat food. Oh, it's still music. That's that's fine. I mean, people know me as a musician, so. And I'm sure just chatting is fucking wild right now. But, 8% beer, what? Is it seven out of 10 burp? I know, there were some 10 out of the 10 burps today though. There were some deep guttural burps today. This is just like champagne burps, so. Mm. All right. I'm gonna pour this to the top because let's face it, I'm gonna be drinking at least that much. I don't have to pretend for anybody. 
It's New Year's, okay? I haven't gotten drunk in... I can't remember the last time I got drunk. And that's a good sign, because I had a problem. I had a problem with alcohol. I was very much a casual alcoholic for pretty much all of 2020. And a little bit before that, too. But... When is the last time I got drunk? You know what, maybe I just can't forget because I was drunk, but... <laughs> but yeah. Too much blood in my alcohol stream, right? I guess, like, at my gig, there was probably a gig. When I played at Deacon Brody's, I did have a gig where I did shots and drank wine. That's it. Like, I only drank when I go out. So that was a good sign. Yeah, like, I didn't drink at home. That was a thing. I drank when I went to the bar because I got a bar tab. So they gave me free drinks. And people always buy me drinks. So it was free. And even then, I still turned it down a lot. Because that was a problem, is like... When drinks are free, I'm like, yeah, free shit, okay, I'll take it. But then it was like, okay, people are buying me shot after shot, and I'm like, this is not okay, I can't perform drunk. So I got, I was way more responsible this year, I'm proud of that. Um, I definitely capped it at two drinks per night, usually. Occasionally three, but when you have three drinks over the course of five hours, it's not that bad. Like, it's, you're not gonna get drunk off of that. So, there's maybe one night where by the end of the night I was pretty tipsy but I wouldn't say like drunk beyond reasonable like I could still fucking make a sentence and talk straight you know but just like feeling good and feeling feeling the love I'm I'm a very lovey drunk I'm a very like oh my god you guys I love you so much oh my god you saw that last year when I spilled the champagne on my fucking keyboard it was literally me leaning in to give chat a hug like, I love you guys, come here, I love you so much, I'm so grateful. That's how I get when I'm drunk. And then I just get really fucking messy, slurry, and sleepy. Sleepy, horny, slurry, asleep. Done. That two rounds of shots night. Yeah, the one where I had two glasses of wine and two shots, I think. Or maybe three glasses of wine and two shots. But even then, like, that was still, like, I was, like, tipsy, but not, like, drunk. But sometimes I just got drunk for the sake of being drunk, you know, I'm just like, I just don't want to feel things and Hey It's hard to fight that grew up with an alcoholic dad Who literally like fucking gaslit me into thinking he wasn't an alcoholic and that I was fucking Making shit up. I'm like Nope Definitely happened. You're an alcoholic Maybe you aren't now, but it's in your blood and you pass it on to me you fuckhead so <laughs> yeah anyways I try my best to kick him out of my life now for good because I'm like I I forgive you but like also you're still gonna be a shit then don't be around me <laughs> that's it I my forgiveness only goes so far I still have to put up boundaries for myself handsome hair thank you thank you Katy Perry is actually, um, Melanie Martinez. I can show you it if you want to see it. I did it myself. Kerosene, my lovely Pokemon. You are still always going to be my Pokemon in my brain because of that one time I named you after a Pokemon. Or I named a Pokemon after you. I did this a while ago, actually. But yeah, I guess it kind of looks like- it looks like Katy Perry from far, but it's Melanie Martinez. This one's for sale for like, I don't know, like... I could probably par with it for like 250 bucks or something stupid low like that. If you want it. I- you'd have to pay for shipping though, which is probably gonna be like 50 bucks or more. Depending if you- if you live overseas, it's probably gonna be like 100 bucks. Shipping. <clears throat> I'm trying to get rid of my art so I can make more art. I've been making a lot of art lately, and that's another thing that's really I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna be doing more art streams. I wanna do like my goal for 2020 is um like two music streams, one art stream, and one cooking stream a week. Like that's like my goal. I think four stream days a week is a pretty cool goal. 
Can you hear a song? I, I was playing for eight hours. <laughs> I was playing music for eight hours, my dude. So I have a lot of stuff I throw away. I don't throw away any of my art. In fact, I don't throw away a whole lot of stuff. I'm very much reuse, reduce, recycle. I, I use a green bin, a compost. I, like, if I fuck up an art, I just paint over it. I try not to throw anything out. Yeah, well, take your time with it. There's no, there's no hurry. Especially, like, I've been, I need reference photos lately. Like, it's hard for me to paint for my imagination lately because I haven't been experimenting with crazy drugs. <laughs> and that that's like a big thing It's like now I'm trying to work on like making good art not like crazy weird abstract trippy like shit that's how I got into art though so I gotta hand it to drugs for getting me into art in the first place for making giving me the artificial inflated ego and confidence to think that I could be an artist and then I want to thank sober me for actually taking having the patience and skill to get good at it you know because that's just it, like... I would have never started painting if it wasn't for, first of all... Justin, the guy I wrote the With Me song about, he bought me my first oil paints. And then also just... A crap ton of fucking... You know? <laughs> party. Those first three hours were especially heavy, too. Yeah, all the music we played those first three hours. Mm. What's harder, drawing or painting? I would say... Hmm. I don't really do a lot of drawing. I don't do much sketching. I mean, like, I sketch out what I'm gonna paint, but I just do, like, the basic shapes. And then I put in the paint. So I guess... I don't know. Party drugs, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. University was a, was a fucking time, but I'm past that now. You know. But I'm glad I did what I did. I have no ragrats. No ragrats. Okay. I had to. You know. I had to do it. You gotta. You gotta live your life, right? And I'm uh, past that now. It was. It was good for what it was. Made a lot of fucking mistakes, but I lived very fast and hard. I've been streaming for almost 10 hours now. Yes, do it. You don't, like, that's the thing. You don't even need to go big. You can start small. Just fucking do it. Make art. You can start by doodling in a notebook or just even a sticky note and just doodle a stupid cat or something. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be, you know? That's the thing with art. You just have to try doesn't like you don't put expectations on yourself to do good or to look like a certain way if you just say I'm gonna try like that's what what happened with this I got in a hyper focus state though that happens with ADHD I got on the zone as we say and I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat until I finished it but that one I just I was like I'm just gonna base it off this image and see where it takes me I guess and some people think it's Nicki Minaj, and some people think it's RuPaul, and some people think it's Lady Gaga. And I'm like, that's okay, because I never, like, I, it's based off of Lady Gaga, but it's open for interpretation. That's what art is, you know? When you're a grown adult and your art looks worse than a child's, well, then try a different style of art. Maybe you want to go into abstract and painting. You don't have to do portraits. Like, I started with abstract. You want to see, you want to see some of my abstract shit? That's how I started. I never painted people. I couldn't imagine painting people. Like, I would... I'd be awful at it. <laughs> but then, you know... Yeah, I have... I do have watercolors. Actually, now I've been mostly doing watercolors. I do oil paints and watercolors, usually. <clears throat> watercolors... It depends on your definition of forgiving. Because I find with watercolors, you have to go very light. Because if you go dark, you can't go back. Uh. Yeah, oh, Veld, good night. Have a great sleep. Thank you for- I am so happy you stuck around as long as you did. Like, it's so good to have your presence around here. You're such a- you bring such a light and such a positive joy to my stream. And I know that I can count on you. You're so dependable and it's good to have that. And when things- when things go wrong, when shit hits the fucking deck, 
Especially with the alerts earlier, so thank you for the save. Have a good night, Velp. Oh my god, expired back in the chat. Hello, expired. Physical media is hard, right? I was just talking about that. I'm like, on my last art stream, I'm like, the only thing, physical media, but with the control Z, you can keep undoing and redoing until it's perfect. That's the problem. It's like, it'll never be done because you can just undo a mistake and then keep doing it over and over and over and over again until it's perfect. Whereas art is like, oops, I fucked up. Oh well, it's on the painting now, gotta keep going. So, oh, Moth is still here. Awesome. Yeah, we're just we're just shooting the shit and talking at this point. This is what it usually turns into. It's like I'm like, I don't have the attention span to do anything. I'm just gonna keep talking. <laughs> I'm very good at talking. <coughs> Excuse me. Banani. Happy New Year, Franco. Happy little accidents, exactly. Listening to a goth night Twitch stream in another window. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's generally how it goes. I need at least four tabs open to be entertained. I'll have like a game going and then a Twitch stream and then I'll have music also and then I'll be scrolling my phone somehow too in between the game matches. That's a cool face. I want to commission new emotes, you guys. I need to save up for them though, because emotes are expensive, dude. I want to do a full emote overhaul, because I have so many extra emote slots, and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> and they're all mismatched too, like some of them are my actual face, and then some of them are drawn, and then it's just chaos. Who's your- okay, can I get some of your favorite streamers emotes in chat? Like, I really like Charlie Manders are good. They're all like Pokemon themed. Nega Oryx is really cool. Sandy Millie's is really cool. She has like this character of her that's really gorgeous. Emu NFT, right? Raquel's are pretty good too. Claire Picks, though. Claire Picks emotes are the best. Oh my god. Claire Picks has the best emotes. They're all these cute little cats. It's great chaos. Yeah, I kind of like them, but it would also be nice to have um, something consistent. And that's why I'm not too worried about it, because like people sub to me because they want to sub to me. They don't sub for the emotes. Nobody fucking subs for emotes here. And that's very adamantly clear. But like... Actually, I'm not subbed to that many streamers. I can't- I had to cancel all my subs. I'm like, nope! Can't afford that now! I'm not- I lost all my gig income, so here we are. I gotta cancel my fucking TV subscriptions, too. Remind me to do that. I gotta cancel Crave and Amazon. Um... What else can I cancel? I really don't want to have to cancel my Nintendo Plus. I already paid for this year, though, so... Depresso Espresso just kicked in. Lonely on New Year's Eve eating chocolate. Oh, Don't think about women! Elbow! You don't need no woman. You're fine. You got us. Okay? We're your homies. What could take your mind off of it? What do you want to talk about? I definitely get that though. That's me when I get- when I get too drunk. That's when I, the depression kicks in and I'm like, I'm so low. I'll always be alone. But I'm not! I have so many beautiful friends. How can we not think about them? I don't know, you tell me. Dude, the girl- remember? I was obsessed- I- well, not obsessed, but like... I had so many almost dates this year with women. And one of the girls that I almost went on a date with, I was so like- had, I had the hugest crush on her. We had huge chemistry at this party. We were like planning dates and kept canceling and going back and forth. I literally painted her. I painted a portrait of her because I was like, you're so beautiful and like I made this for you. I hope this is not too much. But she had a kid and it kept being like, oh, my kid is blah, blah, blah. And 
I was like, okay, well, let's reschedule. What about this date? And then she'd be like, okay, yeah, that works. And then have to cancel. And then she's like, okay, what about this date? I'm like, actually, I'm streaming. I can't do it. Anyways. So the party that I was at was this other girl, lesbian girl party that I was at. and, And so she was there at that party. The host of the party was dating another girl whose birthday it was, I think. Can't remember whose birthday it was. Anyways, so she was living with that girl and I was there flirting with, you know, what's her face? Anyways, they broke up, they got together, and they're fucking engaged now! It's been six months! So, I just think that's wild. And then the other girl that asked me out, um, she openly like was like, oh yeah, I'm a sex worker by the way, I hope that's okay, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then we were like, let's go on a date. And I planned all this stuff. I was like, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to skateboard. We can meet up at the skate park. And like, we can like, I'll, we can start it easy. No big deal. I have a second board. It'll be fun. Like, you look like you'd be really good at skateboarding or whatever. Anyways, it rained. So we couldn't do that. So I was like, okay, well, what about this weekend? Are you free this weekend? And she's like, Friday, I'm free. I'm like, okay, well, I can't. I gig on Fridays. What about Saturday? And she's like, oh, well, I work on Fridays. You should come to my work. And I'm like, you told me you're a sex worker. Like, you want me to come to a script strip club? You want, girl, girl, hot girl, ask me on date, tell me to come to a strip club for first date. I'm like, mm, kind of sus. Like, nothing against sex workers. Like, okay, cool. I'll be surrounded by your... Like, I get to see your tits on the first date, which is... Cool, but the dynamic? Like, am I paying to date you? Very confused. You ask me out? Then you ask for money for lap dance? And so I was like, I don't really feel comfortable with that setting as, like, a first date. Like, to get to know you. Like, you're working and you're, like gonna say hi and then like like I have no problem with the sex work at all but the fact that you want it as a first date when I want to be getting to know you and you're like sorry be right back just gotta go make a quick 40 bucks in the back like hmm yeah and then I found out later that she didn't pay her tap at the bar that I work at so I was like yeah, so that didn't work out. There's like, there's like, there's a few red flags there. But that's the thing is like, I was so excited because I'm like, oh my god, I got a hot girl's number. She's into me. She's really cool. She seems really cool. And then it was just like, oh um, no. And then that's that's the thing too is like, I'm Polly. I have no problem. Like, if you're my lover, you can love somebody else too. That is okay with me. Free love and you know yolo but as a first date like that would that would be like me being like oh yeah i'm serving at this restaurant but you can come and i I can serve you like you can come i'll get you a table and i I can bring you drinks i'll bring you a free drink but you still have to pay for like your meal and whatever and i'm gonna be serving other tables and i'm gonna have to go and like work but like you can come sit at a table while i work like Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. I've I've had such a hard time with women, with dating women. I've only ever had one really healthy relationship with a woman. And the only reason we broke up is because she moved away for work. Like she moved to BC and she's so happy. She's thriving and shit. But like, it was good. We had a good thing going for many months. She was really into skateboarding too. Like we longboarded together. She loved nature. We both like like to dabble in like, you know, mushrooms and stuff every now and then. And we would do like microdose and like go to a rave together. Like she was right up my alley. She was she was beautiful. She was everything. And then when she moved away, it was like bittersweet. Cause I was I was like kind of like also still not very serious at dating. Like I just wanted 
casual things. I wasn't looking for marriage or like long-term commitments or like moving in and I just wanted to find somebody, so. Mushrooms, magic mushrooms, dude. Magic mushrooms. But yeah. We climbed trees together. Like that was our date. Like we, we would go skateboarding and we would find a really cool tree and then we would climb it and we would just hang out in this tree and listen to dope music. But yeah. It's 10 10 UPT time. I don't know what that means. It's 12. Th one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, four a.m. <laughs> yeah, they were boss dates. We would we would either go to raves or like we would go we would she would come over to my place and we would draw together. We would just make art and she would show me a musician and then I would show her one of my favorite musicians. She would she would also come to my shows and shit. Like she came to my shows and she like genuinely was like interested in my music. And it was so cute. She would give me like a big kiss before I we went on stage and I was like, oh, like my heart. Like I just, it was really nice, you know? So also she taught me a lot about like, you know, relationships, what relationships with women are like. Like, cause I've never had like a long-term relationship with women except for her. I've had other ones that were like really not healthy. They were very toxic. It was basically like, we only dated cause we liked partying and we partied all the time. <laughs> we would just hook up and party and that was it. That, there was no like real love connection other than we both went to university together and, and we both were science nerds. So like we would study together sometimes, but it was mostly just, yeah, yeah. Well, cause, cause, cause Elbow was talking about how he's thinking about a girl right now. And then I'm like, don't think about girls. And then I, <laughs> I accidentally went into a spiral and talking about all the women that I've had experiences with in the past a little bit. So, <clears throat> yeah, very much red flag, very much red flag. She's actually the one I wrote chemicals about is, uh, you know, we just, we fell into this really crappy, addictive, abusive kind of shitty relationship that was like we're just hurting each other all the time and it's just constantly drama it was just drama after drama and i was just like i don't even know what this is anymore so <clears throat> thank you thanks wap rock <laughs> don't think about girls think about the girls that i've dated think about the girls that i've dated think about me <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to distract you, dude. I That's how my attention span works. You talk about one thing and I'm gonna just hyper-focus on it until somebody talks about another thing that I find interesting, so. Don't think about girls, I'll just talk about girls. No, exactly. Bah. I don't know. I just find dating is so hard. That's why I'm very upfront with people. Like, everybody that I've been intimate with, I've been so direct. I've been like, I'm into you, which do you want, are you into me? I'm into you, are you into me? Okay, let's go on a date and let's, these are my expect, like, I would like to have sex. Would you like, do, is this where you see things? Okay, yeah, okay, then we're, okay, let's do it. Or, oh, I don't really feel like this is working. I'm not interested, please stop. I'm so direct. I don't know how to do anything else. I don't play fucking games. I don't know how to do that. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's in 2022 it's impossible to date people. Cause everybody's got fucking COVID depression. Everybody's isolating. Everybody's fucking messed up in the head with all of this craziness in the world. And like, nobody's the best version of those. Like it's hard to be the best version of yourself. Everybody's struggling right now. <clears throat> Father, what does sex mean? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Yo, Red Ranger, what's up? Happy New Year. I'm on hour 10. How you been? Red Ranger's my homie. He streams League of Legends. If you're into that, go follow him. COVID depression. Yeah, right? I, I don't get that either. Bro, the Insta DMs. I could go on. I could go on, but I shan't. I shan't bore you with the troubles of my Insta DM. 
But it, 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 it is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Um, it gets to the point where I can't even take biz- I don't like business emails in my Insta DMs because I just get so many fucking scams and fuckboys and shit. <clears throat> yeah, they're, they just- they hit you with a hi or hey cutie. How's it going? Or like, hey, I found your profile and I think you're really cute. What are you doing? It's 2 a.m. What are you doing? You up? You up? Like, no. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no. Don't ever do that. You mean 0% of the shots you don't think? I mean, yeah, I guess so. But, like, what should they do if they want to get to know you? Go to my stream. Hey, I found your profile. It's 12.40 a.m. And I want to get my rocks off. I just, I don't. I, I give off a vibe. I give off a vibe. And I think people are like, don't fuck with me. That's like the vibe. Cause like, I'm a so, I'm so friendly. I'm the friendliest person. I'm so open to making new friends. But I don't have time to do that in like message requests. Like if you want to be my friend, come to my show, hang out on my stream. I make myself available. I literally, I've been streaming for 10 hours at any point in this day, you could have come to my stream and said, hi, hey, how's it going? And like, get to see who I am and whatever. And then a lot of the people who come to my stream, I end up chatting with them in my DMs because I'm like, oh, I got to know you first. But to like, go through my DMs and somebody just says, hey, how are you? Like, what? Well, good you. What other answer should I put? Oh, hi, random stranger. Anyways, I've been having a rough day. My stomach's acting up because I ate some butter chicken. And now my guts are out of whack. And I'm going to do a stream. And then I'm going to... Like, what? I don't know. That takes effort. That takes time. You know how many messages I get? If I responded to everybody, I wouldn't be able to work. I literally would be constantly responding to messages. And it's been that way for years. So I just don't bother anymore. <laughs> you want to see... Like, you want... Okay. We're going to my Insta- We're doing this. We're doing this. I guess we're doing this. And then I'm gonna go get some wine. And I'm gonna chug a glass of wine because this champagne is taking forever to make me feel anything. <laughs> Elbow! Elbow, you fucking did it! Just message me and be like, I found your profile. Okay. So here's my message request. Okay, we're gonna. These are my message requests from the past week. Wait. Stop messaging me, elbow. I'm trying to show people how many messages I've gotten. Okay, now we're getting into two weeks ago. And the weird thing is, the weird thing is it shows me like, this one's from 19 weeks ago, but this one's from last week. And this one's from eight weeks ago, but this one's from 22 weeks ago. Like, I don't even know what Instagram is doing, but all of these are within the past like two months. This one's from one day ago. Hey darling, we're looking for models to be our brand ambassador and get featured. Like, what is this? This one just says, hey there. No, go away. And this one says, can I ask you something? What? What do you want to ask me? Just ask me a question. Don't at say if, like, can I ask you? You just did. You just asked me something. Just say what you mean. I don't have time for this. I don't. This one's not even in English. It says, saludos, como estas? Espero que estas bien. Te saluda Stephanie de parte de Equipo de Buy Media House. Pon, pon, potenciamos tu redes sociales. Me gustaría conversar contigo. Bitch, I'm from Canada. What language do you think we speak up here? Français ou anglais, s'il vous plaît, mon dieu, tabernacle, si calice. This one says, hi, dear. We are currently looking for models ambassadors to wear our newest jewelry collection. Do I... Excuse me, they have a lot of follows. Let's be real here. But do I look like this? 
Do I look like I can model for a company who uses model? Like, I... Like, what? No! Do I look like Kim Kardashian? No! Why? Anyways, that's just from the past two months. It just, it just... It won't even let me scroll. It literally won't even let me scroll because it says request containing messages that may be offensive are moved to this folder and it just won't let me scroll anymore. That's it. That is it. It just goes. It just, it just, it just, it just goes. It just goes. Forever. So. There is a hidden request section. That's where... Wait, I zoomed in. That's where all the requests go for people that I'm not following. If I'm following you, you go right to my DMs. Or if I've responded to a message request, you go to my DMs. But... I do model, actually. Thank you for noticing. I am actually a professional model. Um, if you peep my Insta, I do have some modeling pics there. I haven't done as much lately. I was more into it in university, but... Oh, wow. Damn. Damn. Dipin Poison just posted a new pic. Okay, sorry. I'm getting distracted by hot girls. Um, sup baby, you're a snack. Do I have any songs in French? No, I mean, I've learned cover songs, but I haven't written songs in French. I want to, I want to write songs in French, but I just can't, I'm not fluent enough to write songs in French. But, let me show you, let me see if I have any photo shoot pics, like, handy. Uh, keep drinking, otherwise I'm never gonna get tipsy. Mmm... Maybe in photo shoots? Um, I mean, this is some of my older shit. I'm gonna try not to leak any nudes. I also did nude photography because it paid way better. Like nude modeling and like lingerie and shit. But like, this is one of my older ones. Just stuff like that, like light painting. Pretty cool. Pretty funs. Pretty fun stuff. This is- this was a bit more risque, this one. That one was fun. That's really cool. <laughs> 23, tell me I'm beautiful. This was the one with Derek Hill. This one- well, this is just the contact sheet. This one was like for a like... Actual shots. These these ones were weird. This whole page was kind of weird. This one was good. But yeah, that's me, dude. It's me. I'm trying not to leak any fucking nudes by accident, so... Where was the good ones? I still never got all the photos back from this one. Oh yeah, this one... These ones are all unedited too. These are just like raw off the camera, by the way. It's like not edited. So. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, I am a model, by the way. BT dubs, casual model. <laughs> this was such a mood though, this look. Look at this. I'm literally Barbie, like wow. It's sick in a good way, right? I'm so sad I didn't get more photos back from that. I got like two photos from all of these shoots. And then that was the third look. Ooh, this one. It doesn't even look like me. It's crazy how much makeup and hair and shit can change a person. Like these ones are fucking crazy. These are so crazy. Like I look like a fucking supermodel. It's stupid. Okay, wait, there's more, there's more. Oh my god, these ones? Look at, look at fucking, look at this. Like, what? What? It doesn't even look like me. Right, that's it. That's why I was like, these are great photos. And I did the shoot because I wanted to feel like a supermodel and I truly do look like one. 
but um, but that's it. It doesn't look like me because I'm not. I don't have my rainbow hair. I don't have my rainbow brows. Like there's nothing on brand. Look at this. These ones. These ones were my favorite. This one's like the literal like supermodel of the fucking world pose. Like what the fuck? Wait. Like, talk about pose. Am I right? Talk about fucking posing. Like, Jesus Christ. Who is she? Who are they? What are they? Where do they come from? Anyways. Who was I modeling for? Oh, that was actually... I was paying a friend to do those photos. That one I paid for. So usually I get paid or it's a time for print. Magazine is paid. I know, right? Magazine shit. Usually, I get paid if it's a shoot that they come up with, or we do time for print, which basically means that I, instead of me paying the photographer and the photographer paying me for my services, we just say, okay, we're even. I'm modeling for you, and you give me photos, and we both get something out of it. You get a model, and I get photos. So, um, so that's usually how it goes. That, like, when I was getting paid modeling shoots, it was mostly, you know, again, like, really out there concepts. Some of it was more out of my comfort zone, but I was, like, willing to try it. Like, there was some body painting stuff, some lingerie stuff, and I was just, like, you know, it was, like, hobby photographers who just, like, they're not doing it professionally, but they just want to photograph hot women, I guess. I don't know. But... I mostly do time for print stuff, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of what I like is cause there's no expectations. Like if I'm uncomfortable, I can be like, no, I'm not doing this. But for the most part, it's just really cool, fun, creative projects. Like the one that I did with, um, Jen Bernard, that one's on my website, I believe. That one's actually on my website. Yo, it's almost New Year's for, uh, C Central Time, I think. Let me go to my website. I'm pretty sure my website has a lot of my latest photo shoot photos on there. Yeah, if I go to modeling. So these are some of my photo shoots too. Those were those are the edits from that shoot that I just showed you, by the way. Um, so this one was the one with Jen Bernard. This one is the best time for print that I've ever done. This is wait, what the fuck happened to my thing? This is insane. This is insane. This right here that is like the craziest most amazing i've ever looked i she let me keep the coat too this is my new winter coat everybody compliments me on it it's so sick but like i want this to be album art but again it doesn't look like me because of the, the hair and everything like i feel like when billy eilish got rid of her uh green hair or whatever she just doesn't look the same right but this photo is going to be available for prints, limited edition, for people who uh, kicked, helped with the Kickstarter for my album. Like, what? She's such a talented photographer. It was, it was a combo. It was talented photographer, super talented makeup artist, and of course, I'm a talented model. Sketchiest shoot I've done. I can't even talk about it. I have a non-disclosure agreement, so... It was, it was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I can't, like, I literally can't even talk. It makes me sick to my stomach. I can't even say it. I'm not even gonna talk about it. There's been a few. There's been a few. There's been a few that have made me so uncomfortable that I stopped doing modeling. Because I was like, nope, I'm not comfortable with this. And then he would be, like, tugging down my clothes. And I'm like, whoa, okay. I understand what you're going for here, buddy. But, like, I can adjust my own wardrobe. I can do this myself. So, yeah, I just, I stopped. I mostly just work with um, queer photographers and female photographers now. I don't work with like straight men anymore because they're generally not in it for the right reason. So that's just that's just it. Cody, what the fuck? Welcome. Oh no, Windows, stop trying to update my shit, dude. I'm gonna flip. Happy New Year! We've already smoked two joints on stream. I should be smoking your joint. I still haven't smoked it. The one that you gave me, the crazy pre, like the the fucking. Is it a dragon? I can't remember. I've been saving it for an occasion, but like, I can't smoke that shit alone. That's too much weed. But, yes. 
It's time to let 2021 go. We're letting our past go. I was gonna grab, no, no, no. I mean, I didn't, I didn't smoke that. I didn't smoke it. I just, I've been smoking my pre-rolls. My little, my nebulas, my pre-roll nebulas. Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, I didn't even watch that. Oh, these, these were the nugs that I was gonna smoke, but I'm not sure if I, cause if I have to go for 12 hours, I don't want to. Oh, it smells so good. If I have to go for twelve hours, I don't want to be too stoned because then I'm just gonna want to nap, and I'm not. Like right now, I'm being talkative. I'm chatty. If I smoke weed, I'm just gonna be like, you know. I'm gonna be ready for Netflix and chilling. Just can't even open it right now. Yeah, yo, Cody Van Gogh. You should check out his Instagram. He he's my friend in real life. He makes. He's literally rolled joints for Snoop Dogg. It's fucking ridiculous, ridiculous, insane and ridiculous. You're rolling up the first joint of the new year? Let's go. I haven't rolled a joint in so long. I just buy pre-rolls now. It's, it saves me so much time. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna take a bath? No, elbow, come on. Please don't say that, no. We're not doing that today, no. What you need is a hug. You maybe some fresh air. Go outside and look at the stars for a second. Maybe think about the stars for a minute. Don't. It's okay. It's okay. Embrace what you're feeling. Feel. Feel your feelings. Just stop for a moment. Maybe even turn stream off, and just stop and breathe and listen to a song and just allow yourself to feel what you're feeling and feel it in your body. Nicotine. Well, I mean, I don't know if you quit smoking, but maybe just have a smoke and just be like This is where we're at right now and that's okay But we're not gonna take a bath with razor blades. We're not gonna do that because you're my friend and I want you to take care of my friend, okay? Okay But anyways It's almost who is it midnight for who is it midnight for right now? Like all of the middle of the states like Winnipeg and shit. Okay, wait. Time zone. New Year's countdown. V E T. Oh, MST. Central time and then Mountain Standard Time and then PST is next. <clears throat> yes, Louisiana, let's go. Happy freaking New Year's. Happy freaking New Year's. I'm almost ready to start dancing. I kind of want to just dance the last hour and a half and then fall asleep. <laughs> That's kind of my plan. Oh my God, my scars are crazy. Crazy scars. Happy New Year's to all you home going. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna put on some sick music. And we're just gonna vibe out. We just gonna vibe out, you know? Happy New Year, Laz. Yo, happy New Year. And I'm gonna do some poise spinning and shit. Alright, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the ball to drop for y'all, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna get a shot in me. Whoa, that splashed my forehead. I don't know if I have to change. Last New Year's I changed like four times or some shit. But... Mm. But I need to change my setup again, because I pulled this desk out, and now I gotta put the piano over there and make space and shit. I got a cool laser light though, check that. You can't see it right now because it's like bright. But once I, once I turn the lights out, it's not quite what we had last year. I think last year we had like a UV lamp, or was that the year before? I think that was the year before. We had like a fucking UV lamp and like a fog machine and crazy shit. It was amazing. But is this empty? 
Okay, this one's empty. Put that away. Oh, this track slaps. Every track slaps. Oh, Jesus. And condom balloons, yeah. And then I was like, why are my lips on fire? Why is my lips swollen and pain? And then I was like, oh, I forgot I'm allergic to latex. And I just finished blowing up a bunch of balloons. My lip, literally, I had like hives. I had like this lip rash and like my cheeks were like fucked. For so long. Almost died. Oh, that sh I should put that on my low lights of this year. I almost, ha I almost fucking died to latex paints. I literally had an anaphylactic reaction, my first anaphylactic reaction ever to latex paints. Ow. And I didn't know what it was. I thought I caught COVID. And Andy's like, you were fine like an hour ago. What happened? Like you're not, you don't have COVID. Like you've been fine this whole day. Like why can't you breathe right now? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I couldn't like my lungs closed off my face was swollen it was like burning and itching and I kept coughing and I was like gasping for air and I had no idea and then Andy was like oh my god oh my god oh my god like freaking out he's like do I call an ambulance what do I do like what do I I don't know what to do do you have your puffer where's your puffer and I'm like I couldn't breathe and then he's like oh my god oh my god they're latex paints you're allergic to latex. And I was like... And I- we just rushed me outside. I got outside, I took my puffer, and it took- it took like an hour before I could like properly breathe again. But I couldn't- I couldn't go back in the house for like two days. Cause I went back in the house, I had to wear a mask. I wore a mask, and then I wore another mask on top of that mask. And I still couldn't breathe. My eyes were fucking puffy. Like, I looked like I had gotten stung by a bee. My face was just... And my eyes were, like, watering. Even with the mask on. It was so bad. <laughs> I literally had to evacuate. We had all the fans on. We had the doors closed in the room. Like, we had the door closed to the room that we painted. And all the fans on. And I was dying. Couldn't even be inside. It was so bad. I was, like, wheezing. I was like... I can't even do it because like I can breathe right now. But anyways, definitely a low light. Highlight, streaming on Twitch. We almost made it 50k. I think if I streamed more, I still wouldn't have made the 50k. I don't think I would have. But it's a goal to meet for my birthday. I think I can make up for my birthday. 50k on Twitch. room happy new year oh shit i missed it any resolutions well my resolution for 2021 was just to find happiness and like be able to be okay because 2020 i was not okay i was really depressed i was binging like alcohol and drugs and not streaming at all because I felt like shit and I couldn't motivate myself to do anything. And then 2021, I fucking saw a psychiatrist. I was diagnosed with severe ADHD and medicated for it. And my life did a full 180. So I feel like goal accomplished. So 2022 is just like fully realizing that. Yeah, I mean, not really. My goal is like now that I'm on the right track is to stay on the right track and get on a more regular stream schedule 
you know, and just what? It's not 2023 yet. Vivans, yeah, I'm on Vivans. Okay, let's go. Time for a dance party. Wait, did we already get this one today? I can't remember. I think we had this one already. Do you have any mods? Expired. We already have this one. We can it will not be denied. Okay, we'll just do it then. Let's go.
Yes! Okay. So I'm going to set it up. My neighbors are going to hate me. It's okay. They have my phone number. If it's too loud, he'll probably just text me and be like, hey, can you turn your fucking music off? And I'll be like, it's New Year's, bitch. I have one night, one night a year. Just let me have this. <laughs> you keep failing, Gorset. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just wait till I get back, okay? I need to set things up properly. Merry 2023. Okay. Love your neighbors, right? No, he has he has my cell phone number. He's texted me once before when I was being too loud, and I'm like, okay, I'll turn it down. But anyways, I have to move a couple things out of the way, especially this microphone. So I'll I don't know if I should just switch to, because I can't wear headphones if I'm doing poi. I can't wear headphones because the cable gets caught, and I need to be able to not have shit. So I'm gonna put on a little video. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna grab. Grab a shot of something because fuck it, let's party. And then we'll let the rave begin and we'll rave till close. Okay, also I probably should pee. I've been drinking too many fluids today. All right, video, video, video. Zoom. I'm getting blinded by lasers right now. Do, 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 do. Ah, my eyes. I don't know what to put on. Okay. Let's watch, uh, did we watch Object today? I don't think we did. Okay, we'll put this on. Anyways, here's a video of me performing my song. I'll be right back. So 
dramatic, manipulative tactics. You're a fan and you're an addict, trying to find a better fix. You got your pics of the litter, a coop full of heads. But I'm not a tricky poos, want you, you don't want them. You got your eyes on the prize, yeah, the golden goose. But she won't let eggs for you unless you let her loose. Cause you find the one you're losing, cruising for a bruise. And you're abusing your power and now Okay, I'm back. Woo. Here we are. Back in the scene. Okay, so I have my uh, Rode mic now, but it's not the same as my focus rate, so I gotta turn this off. It's a beard, uh, ugh, it's a beard. It's a bit of a weird switch over. I'm as free as a bird. I'm getting blinded by lasers right now. Um, and then we'll put that to speakers. Okay. And then I gotta change desktop audio. And that should be good. Let's test it. How's that sound? Can you hear me now?
I'll probably do a push to talk. Like, if I want to talk, I'll unmute the mic. Because the music's so loud, the only way the lasers work... I'll turn these down. The only way the lasers work is if the music is loud enough. So it's stupid because like, okay, it's music activated. There's music playing. Hello. Huh? But they have to be like vibrating or whatever to make it work. So I'm just going to go dance. We're just going to vibe for like half an hour. I don't think I'll be chatting much anyways, but it's a New Year's Eve stream. So we're just going to party. Cool. Um, here's my G Fuel champagne because I don't trust myself with champagne glasses around pianos or anything anymore. Mmm. Let's go. G Fuel. Fueled by. Gee, I inspired. You're still here. I didn't even play. We didn't even do any Gartic phone. We still have time to do that, but right now it's a dance break time. Right now is a dance. Okay. Sparkles J. Yo, let's go. Have a great New Year's. Thanks for hanging out, Cody. Okay, it's just so sugary. All right. Gargaphone? Gartic phone. Gartic phone. It's like you're literally asleep. Well, not if you're texting me. Not if you're in my chat. I made a lot of messes today. We had a lot of klutz counters today. All right. So, okay. Oh. I'm ready to just crank the music and just dance. Are you guys ready? Messes are good. Eli, you're here. I saw you in Ari's stream the other day. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I know the music's quiet. We're gonna we're gonna switch it all up in a second. Um, I'm just trying to set things up because people are like, I can't hear you, and then ah, so.
I'm gonna turn on the mic for a single second. Say that I can't turn on the mic because the speaker's loud. Hi! If you were a friend of Claire's, then you were either already a friend of mine, or if you don't know me, I'm Mermaid Unicorn. I do music, art, gaming, all of the above. But for the past four years, I've spent my New Year's on Twitch. Because what a better way to spend your New Year's than watching the ball drop in every single time zone, right? So it started in 2018 as a 24 hour New Year's stream and as I grew older I realized 24 hours is a long long time to be streaming and it's very hard to do. So <laughs> we are almost on a 12th hour and we're just doing a dance party essentially. I'm also a music streamer though so if you haven't heard me stream music you have to follow because you have to come back when I'm playing music because I tell you I'm legendary. You have to hear me sing. But thank you, Claire Picks. I can't believe you're streaming today. Were you doing music? How are your kitties? Subtract the cat is here. Chaotic outdoor stream. Oh, it was an outdoor stream. That's okay. I get it. Okay, but we're gonna, let's, okay. So the thing is, if the music's playing, I can't speak because the microphone is gonna pick up all of the shit that's going on and the lasers are sound activated so it's basically like let's just rave we're at rave o'clock right now and <laughs> holiday tradition oh oh my gosh i hope there's a vod i would love to watch it my tradition is let's play a bunch of music for like eight hours straight and let's party 
So I did sing and play music and chat and dance and do a whole bunch of stuff for eight hours. And now we're at the party phase where we're just gonna drink and we're just gonna dance and we're just gonna have fun and we're just gonna live in the moment. So here we are. Thank you. This is one of a kind. I don't do these streams all the time. Like this is literally the New Year's Eve tradition. It's just party with stream. So here we are. It's party time. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Thank you so much! What the heck, Bounce a Clown? Thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, I'm gonna change the playlist real quick. Okay, we're going to this playlist. I think this is the one. But thank you so much. Mwah. Happy New Year's. Thank you, Claire. Claire is an angel. I love her. All right. Welcome. I'm gonna mute and just dance. We're just gonna have fun. Time, time, time. 
Every day becomes the same. Hate myself, I can't complain. Now I'm numb and you're to blame. My new normal feels so strange. Kill my pain, cause it's killing me. And sometimes that's okay. The pills are fake, they don't do to me what you do to my brain.
Yo, Ari, if you're still here, you said you were high earlier, like high on weed or or I'm not gonna eat them. I'm not eating them. But I might. I need a fucking UV lamp, man. Like this is unfortunate. <laughs>
inside the oppression What's left before I leave? Say goodbye to this iPhone lesson When there's no blood left to bleed Follow you to balance the ways. Alive, you grow your feet and fight. 
is always down I'm dreaming of a rose right spent on life Where everything is golden, rich and nice And anything you want can name its price Oh, I'm dreaming of a rose right spent Take my Rolls Royce Phantom back
should definitely vibe to this.
Okay, so it has been it has been for 12 hours. We wish everybody a happy New Year's. My camera's probably having a shit fit because I can't decide what to focus on with this darkness. Can I play your mission song? Oh, you donated five bucks to do the YouTube video. What is the song? I will do one more song. Yes. But then I'm ending. For reals, for reals. I will, I will do your song. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. I was, I'm, I'm just vibing out right now. Okay, but I'm, I'm honestly glad that we didn't meet the dono goal because that means I get to sleep at a regular hour. <laughs> and honestly, I had so much fun today dancing for all the alerts and you know. Okay, let's see, let's see what this song is. This will be our last song, and then we're gonna end. We should raid somebody, I don't know who's on right now, but I'm like, starting to feel tired and a little drunk, so. <laughs> Great outro, okay, well, I'll listen to it. Wait, what? Last song of the night. Gotta be compatible Take me to my limit Go and I'll break you all I promise that you won't get far If you're honey, let's do it Ride it, my pony My saddle's waiting Come and jump on it Your honey, let's do it Ride it, my pony, my saddles waiting, come and jump on it. You just lost Pony Roulette, unfortunately. <laughs> oh my god! No, 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 I'm gonna get it off. We're done. It's 12 hours. It's 12 hours. It's 12 hours. We're fine. Please. It's fine. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> we're gonna raid somebody. But we're gonna listen to the song while we do so. Okay? Happy New Year's, everybody. There will be much more content in the future. Okay? It's New Year's Eve. No, it's New Year's Day now. It's fucking like almost 3 a.m. And my camera is having a shift fit. And my, I can't find my lighting controls and... <laughs> it's okay. There's so many streamers on right now. There's so many streamers on right now. Look, okay. Twitch.tv Who can we raid? Hannah! Oh my god, Hannah! She's doing a set right now. 
Where is she? Yeah, she is. We're gonna raid Hannah. It was very fun, lots of dancing. Okay, wait, but let's finish the song for the donation first. For Bound to Clown. Okay, we're gonna finish the song and then we're gonna raid. Okay? Good? Good! Good. <laughs> Alright. That was, I don't even want to turn the lights back on. We're just going to live in the darkness for now. Okay. Thank you for joining me for the New Year's. We, um, I, I had a great time today. Today was fun. I feel like I danced more today than I have danced in ages. And dancing heels is just... It's so fun to dance, so thank you for that. We're going to raid Hannah. She's an incredible DJ. And she's playing a set right now, and you guys are going to love her stream. If you loved what you were watching here, you're going to have a great time, okay? 
So, um, follow me if you haven't already. I'm actually a good singer. <laughs> I swear to God. And, uh, yeah. I will. I'm actually going to go to sleep. I'm not going to keep partying. It's like almost 3 a.m. And I'm responsible. I'm a responsible adult. So I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. yeah. Because life is sweet. And I want to keep it that way. So. Anyways. I want to keep my mental health in check. So no partying. No craziness. None of that shit. I had a few drinks. So I'm good. But like a little tipsy. And then I'm going to sleep. It's going to be great. And yeah, I had so much fun today. So thank you for having fun with me. <laughs> Happy New Year's, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, all right? Catch you later. Mwah! Goodbye.